If a table does not have any composite attribute and multi-valued attribute, then these two conditions mean that the table is in first normal form. Table does not have partial dependency and it is in first normal form, then these two conditions mean that the table is in second normal form. If a table does not have any transitive dependency and it is in second normal form, then these two conditions mean that the table is in third normal form. And finally, if a table is in third normal form and if left hand side of every functional dependency of the table is a candidate key or super key, then these two conditions mean that the table is in voice code normal form or BCNF. What does this mean? Let us simplify using examples. Hello and welcome you all to making IT simple. So the two conditions for voice code normal form are as follows. First one is that the table must be in third normal form. BCNF is sometimes referred as an extension of third normal form. The second condition is that every functional dependency in the table or relation say x determines y, the left hand side or x should always be a candidate key or a super key should be of this form. If any table satisfies these two conditions, then we can conclude that the table is in BCNF or voice code normal form. Let us try to simplify these conditions using some examples. So let us understand the first condition. We need to check if table is in third normal form. So let us consider this table as an example. In this table, no single attribute can identify complete tuple. So, candidate key needs to be a combination. Using student and subject combined, we can determine teacher. So, as student and subject combined, we can get complete tuple. It is a candidate key. And following are the functional dependencies for this table. Student and subject determines teacher. And using teacher we can determine subject as one teacher teaches just one subject if a table is in third normal form then it is also in second normal form and also in first normal form so we need to check right from first normal form this table does not have composite attribute and also does not have multi-valued attribute so we can conclude that this table is in first normal form. For second normal form, we need to check partial dependency. In simple terms, there should not be any functional dependency x determines y, where y is a non-prime attribute and x is a part of candidate key. If there is no functional dependency of this form, then the table is in second normal form. So let us check each functional dependency of our table. First one is student and subject determines teacher. In this complete candidate key determines non-prime attribute. So this cannot be a partial dependency as complete candidate key is used to determine. Let us check another functional dependency. Teacher determines subject. In this functional dependency non-prime attribute determines part of candidate key. In this functional dependency, there is part of candidate key, but it is on right hand side. Partial dependency is when part of candidate key is on left hand side. So this particular functional dependency is also not a partial dependency. So this table does not have any partial dependency and it is also in first normal form and therefore we can conclude that this table is in second normal form. Now for the third normal form we need to check if there is any transitive dependency present in a table. In simple terms functional dependency is transitive if a non-prime attribute determines another non-prime attribute. So let us check if this table's functional dependencies are transitive or not. First dependency is student and subject determine teacher. Candidate key determines non-prime attribute. So this dependency cannot be transitive. Let us check second functional dependency. Teacher determines subject. 
in this functional dependency a non prime attribute determines part of candidate key that means a non prime attribute determines prime attribute so this functional dependency does not match the transitive dependency condition so no functional dependency of this table is transitive this table is in second normal form and has no transitive dependency therefore we can conclude that this table is in third normal form so we have proved that this table is in third normal form now we need to check second condition for boy squad normal form now we need to check that every functional dependency in the table is of form x determines y where x or left hand side is strictly a candidate key or a super key let us check if our table satisfies this condition first functional dependency student and subject together determine teacher candidate key determines non prime attribute in this functional dependency lhs or left hand side is a candidate key so there is no problem with this functional dependency next functional dependency we have is teacher determines subject non prime attribute determines part of candidate key or non prime attribute determines prime attribute this dependency is neither partial nor transitive but lhs of this functional dependency is not a candidate key or not a super key so this functional dependency breaks the second condition required for boy squad normal form therefore due to this functional dependency this table is not in boy squad normal form so what is required to transform this table in boy squad normal form we need to decompose the table so we had a relation or table r with student subject and teacher attributes where teacher determines subject functional dependency is not allowed so we will decompose the table in two different tables first one will be r1 and second one will be r2 r2 will have attributes from the functional dependency that is not allowed so that functional dependency was teacher determines subject so r2 will have teacher and subject as its attributes where teacher is primary key and r1 will have student and teacher attributes where student is primary key and teacher is a foreign key which is primary key in r2 so now this relation is decomposed in two different relations and transformed into boy squad normal form hope you understood the concept of boy squad normal form we also have revised the other normal forms first second and third so you may have got a clear idea of normal forms and normalization if the video helped you in clearing the concept give it a like and share with someone who needs help in these concepts and for more such amazing videos subscribe my channel making it simple and press the bell icon so you can get notified each time i upload a new video see you in the next video thank you